What is going on, Shoe Fly fam? Welcome to another episode of Shoe Fly TV. Is your boy T. Um, today we're gonna be getting into another uh, review of crease protection. Before we add the video, which a lot of people watch, shout out to everybody for um, going and checking out that video. Um, we did it on the uh, Sneaker Shield Generation X Universal sneaker protector. Um, we talked about a whole bunch of different ones. We talked about the crease protectors I got from Amazon. We talked about the force fields. We talked about the, um, of course, sneaker shields. But today I got a new one in. It is the Crep gel tech um sneaker shield and um we're gonna get into those versus the um universal gen x ones because those ones to me are the best ones right now that i use the most besides force fields as far as a um comprehensive review of it here goes the actual um protector it comes in a little bag like this um this is pretty much what it comes in but the actual um, outside of it is like a black soft plastic. It's a lot softer than the um, sneaker shield plastic. It's got these little ribs on the top of it, as well as a gel on the back part of it for more comfort, I'm assuming. Um, these, in all honesty, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not sponsored by sneaker shields. I'm not sponsored by Crep or anybody. This is just my honest opinion. These do not work that well. Um, I tried to cut them to see if maybe that's what the problem was. And they, I actually got it into the sneaker the first time when I tried to, because you just, same as always, you pinch it and then put it into the shoe and it went in. But I noticed that my foot was just getting stopped at a certain point and it just felt really painful. And then I tried to cut them to maybe see if the, it was the um, size of them that was um, bothering my foot and I cut them and I did not get better results. The main reason being I feel is like because of this gel, it's super sticky. Like it, so when you're trying to put your foot into it, especially like with your socks, your socks getting caught up on it, it. It's hard to actually get your foot into it with this on here. I know that they were trying to do some extra padding for extra comfort but um it actually is one of the downfalls of the uh protector because it does not help like i said very very hard to get your foot into the sneaker and um you know no diss to them but honestly i wouldn't spend my money on these just because they don't work that well I'm trying to put my foot in this it was really painful it was really tight i felt like my sock was getting bunched up even after cutting it it still wasn't comfortable so for the crep Sneaker shields, it is a no-go. I, If it was me, I would stick to the sneaker shields, the um, Universal or the Universal Gen X or even Force Fields if you prefer or like those. Those are the two best to me. Comfort-wise, like I said, it, it, they went too far trying to make them extra comfortable. And in doing that, they actually hindered you from comfort because it's so hard to get your foot inside of the thing so i just wanted to give you guys my honest opinion on these since you know you guys watched the other video with all the crease protection um just wanted to let you guys know what i thought about this new one right here and uh, like i said at least for me it's no bueno no go this has been another episode of Shoe Fly TV. Shout out to everybody who continues to support, continues to watch. Please like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to just give it a try and pick them up or if you feel like my opinion is probably um, spot on and you're not willing to waste your money on something like this. Um, it's been another episode of Shoe Fly TV. This is your boy T. Continue to stay fresh. And stay shoe fly. We out.